In this example, we need to measure the angle of refraction. Uh, so what we have is a ray of light and it enters this semicircular block and as it does, it bends. And this dotted line here is the normal. Now the angle of incidence is between the ray of light and the normal. And then the angle of refraction is between the normal and the ray of light that, uh, that bends here. So this is the angle that we're looking for. So to do that, I'm just gonna use my protractor. I'm gonna line up the center of the protractor with this point here. So that's where the ray of light uh, is actually bending. And I'm just gonna line up this black line on the inside of the protractor with the normal line down here. So once I've done that, I can then start to measure the angle. Now, because we're measuring the angle this way around on the protractor, I'm going to use the inner set of numbers. So not the outer ones. We can see it's not about 140 degrees. So we're gonna look at the inner set of numbers. A little bit harder to read. So we can see that if that's zero, you've got 10, 20, 30. And then this ray of line, it, light is between 30 and 40 degrees. And if we look very carefully, it's six graduations on this way around. Hopefully you can just see that. So this angle here is equal to 36 degrees. Now the final thing you can do when you uh, measure an angle is just check to see if it looks about right. We know that uh, this is 180 degrees, so between this line and this line is 90, and if we think, well that's 90, that's 60, and that's about a third of it, so it's just over 30. So 36 degrees looks about right for this angle, and that's all there is to it.